Now, line up with the Word with them. Stay away from the things of the world. Sisters, let your hair go. Put your dresses on night and leave. Take that pink off your feet. You got more scripture to wear pink than you had to cut your hair. That's right. Don't do that. Don't do it. The Bible says it's a dishonorable thing for a woman to do. A hair is her glory. Now you say that's a little thing. That's all right. Let's get the little things out of the way and then we have to talk about big things. Let's get started right. Now, brethren, oh my. Let me just say one thing to the man. Mister, my brother, if you will let your wife do a thing like that, I'm ashamed of you. Amen. Amen. You claim to be a spirit filled man. Shame on you. Let your wife go on the street and you're dressed all sexy and everything like that. And do you know the Bible said, Jesus said, Whosoever looketh upon a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her. You say, now, wait a minute, my brother. I'm innocent. I believe you are too, my sister. You're innocent in the natural act. But if you present yourself and the sinner looks at you and you presented yourself like that, who's guilty? You are for presenting yourself. Then at the day of the judgment when that sinner answers for the adultery, who did he commit it with? In his heart. You. Why? Because you presented yourself. Now that's just the truth. Won't you? Won't you, sister? Please. In Jesus' name, may I ask you as your brother. Straighten up. Brother, shame on you for conducting your house like that. Straighten up. I've I got better hopes of you than me. Pastors who let them people come in and take deacons and everything else in a job like that with two or three living miles. Aren't you ashamed, minister? Aren't you ashamed of those things and take them members in there when they're living in adultery and smoking cigarettes and doing all and never even mention it from the platform? Shame on you. Uh, I, I pray for you, brother. God bless you.